Wahala be like bicycle indeed. Hey babies. What's up my darling MVPs and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shosli Mimi where you get a gist. I see they do waiting. I see the hearts. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on the bicycle on this channel. If it snows, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pots? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hot guys. <laughs> Wahala be like bicycle. Like Mimi Shosli Mimi will always say. Hmm. Guys, hmm. if you have been following me back to back, if you've been on the social streets back to back, you would know that what is trending for this current Siyamosha housemate is go fund me that is the keyword including the winner is on a go fund me level that's the netizens are where like they were like yo 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 this housemates are you guys now begging or something like that <laughs> guys we were just taking it cool like at least this ones are the current housemates i just told you guys on how the netizens come for chuenza when chuenza posted her own account number we were thinking that it's gonna end there Guys, guess what? Housemate from previous season, as far as season one, guys, as far as season one. When I even say season one housemate, I'm just trying to make it sweet. The winner of season one, because I did not watch that season. I clearly told you guys that the season I started watching the baby in Zanzi was the Mpua Badimo season. So I did not watch the season, neither do I know the winner. But seeing this on the social space and how it has stair brows, I happened to get to know that this particular dude, this handsome dude right here, Mandla, it was actually the winner of season one. Hello, hi. If you did watch that season, please help me confirm that this is the winner, right? Now this dude actually had this to say. Hoping not to come across as a soldier, but whilst we at it the truth is i was paraded as a millionaire even though that's not what reflected in my bank account but it was my reaction in brackets in that is in parentheses outburst upon discovery that didn't upon discovery that didn't help me address the situation with the powers that be i should have humbled myself by being grateful for the 625k which was more than enough to kickstart my spaza dreams and found another way to balance the difference instead of burning lucrative bridges like a fan base who would given anything for that humble kid from the vow with all that said dear beloved we are here for the balance of that meter interest kakopwe twetwe anything would do <laughs> and he posted his details below his bank name account holder account name guys all of that all of that and people were like so surprised first off if you go through this write-up you would see that this person is clearly saying that he was not paid his money complete because he said he was being seen as a millionaire while what reflected in his account is the social so amount guys netizens were like yo or more, a whole lot is actually happening that we do not know on this baby streets. Now, the person with open mouth, we go, no. Hey, <laughs> guys, I say what they gained, that wahala be like bicycle. So, the donation has just shifted from the senior amateur housemate going down to the season one. I do not know the name of that team. I would have mentioned it right here. Somebody can please help me with it in the comment section. The team name of the season, of that season, yeah. Let me know in the comment section. As if that was not enough. Vino, at least I know this one very well. This my cute boy, he's looking like a Nigerian, I'm not gonna lie. He actually was in a ship with Terry Treasure during the Mpua Badimo season. He posted his own and said, Lord, guys, even I need donations, fella, huh? I was also on Big Brother and did win. Must I drop account details? Hey, <laughs> guys, what did I say? Wahala be like again. <laughs> So when he posted this, people were like, wait, what is going on? What is really going on? Baby boy said he was on that show that he needs to post, paste his own Azar so that you guys would bless him. 
you know as you can see he did pasted his other this is his account name the account number and whatnot guys and then he continued to say i work basically every day if you follow me you will know i am no near broke law but hey baba i still need money can never have enough in this economy even millionaires want more and then somebody said do you still have a fan base and he replied and said law i hope there is someone in yana that still loves me so he actually started explaining this after um people started dragging and were like all these people are broke that was why he said he is not even close to being broke we hope so we really hope so any which ways and then he posted later on you know yesterday and said that post just got me a gig in i don't know this name law area meaning that he put him posting about needing money and all of that just got him a gig congratulations to you vinyl guys which ways though because hmm hmm in biggest voice interesting cook that thing said almost all the housemates are begging what's going on there nzanzi yo i love sza said they want what their mother liema has they heard about her go fund me and the amounts raised so far yolanda and liema fans have set the bar high my last hope is liema and yolanda otherwise we are in the mud. <laughs> oh, this is actually funny, but it's not just easy out there. That's what all of this means. Comrade said, Now it is clear that Liema GoFundMe plus Aru 250k check is the cause of all this begging and account details posting. The desperation is so loud because how have you all been feeding before the show? <laughs> As you can see, Vino said he is not close to being broke. But if you want, if you have money, you would definitely want more money. And that is just the truth. Guys, on to the next gist. Because, hmm, this particular gist is actually staring brows on the social space. Okay, let's read this. Apparently, Mpums rejected food her fans gave her. She says she wants iPhone and accommodation. Now, the fans are trying to share the food before it's poised. So not, so not fair. Hmm, <laughs> guys, I say, eh, this... BB Street, each minute new stories. BB Nzanzi Mpumi turned down the full stuff her fans got for her because they didn't include iPhone, dresses, accommodation, shoes, and cash gifts. Guys, here is the tea. So it was actually raining, like trending. That's what I mean. That um, Mpumi rejected the gifts. Of course, you know, ever since this housemate left, they've been receiving gifts from their fans, you know, appreciating them, you know, for making them proud in the house. But it may seem as though. Reverse was the case for Mpumi as she rejected the gift from her fans. She said she needed something better. She listed the things she needed. She needed accommodation. She needed money. She needed iPhone and all of that. So it was actually revealed from their group. Of course, you know one thing with this group, I keep saying them saying this that once you open a group for your faith, both people that do not like your faith will definitely be there. That's why they actually get to leak whatever that is going on in the group. Now, let's read some of the conversation. This person says, Hi, guys. I am someone who hardly comments. Can we just put everything on hold until we hear from Pumi, please, guys? And then this one is crying. And how is she going to pay for that apartment? She doesn't even have a phone. She even needs clothes in Jani. Whoever showed Mpumi me our message is at fault everything discussed here was supposed to be a, a surprise if mpumi didn't know about our discussion none of this would have happened hey okay none of this would have happened everything would have been a beautiful surprise so it may seem as though they've not even delivered the whatever yet and somebody went to share to mpumi and then the conversation was had with that person where mpumi told the person i do not need all of this thing this is what and what that i need what does she do or say I hate disrespect, especially people working know how to make a person that are not even related to happy. You see, sorry, I hope so. But on, okay, I'm skipping that. Those who want their refund, please communicate, let message fast. Guys, are you all giving up on Pumi that fast? It was actually so serious on their group chats. Okay, this person says, I'll go down to this one. Same here and that hurts. Now, I like my refund, even though it's not much, but I need it back. I'm still a student for crying out loud. Then this happens, yo, her. It's well, Tonya, please calm down and let's wait for Mpumi to apologize. Thus, we are making everything worse, people. We're making everything worse, people. I fully understand how her fans aren't happy. Like, guys, hmm. 
Omo Ichoko. And you know the funny thing, seeing people actually going all hurt to contribute, even in these hard times, and it now rejects it. That means it you just show them that their their effort is not worth it, and that is really bad. He was posted and said Mpumi told her admins to drop all the money fans contributed for her as they all belong to her. So these are the conversation from the admin group. Summary, Mpumi called the admins yesterday. She was very rude and demanding of her money. She doesn't want the phone. She doesn't want to be told what is best for her. She wants to be in control of her money. The condescending, the belittlement and the disrespect I got, I won't be taking it anymore. And please do refrain from sending money from my, from my account as I am no longer involved. Thank you. This is the admin in pain. It's actually saying that the way Mpumi spoke to him or her was not cool. But looking back, I'm like, why would Mpumi even want to do that? That This has been so ungrateful. How is that even possible? Rene Zion said, if Mpumi truly rejects that gift from her fans because it's not worth her preference, then she's an ingrate. Housemates should learn to appreciate every little gift the fans give them. Fans go all out for their of their fa of their way just to contribute for their faves. Then a housemate rubbish it must be meant. Sincerely, it is all shade of wrong, if this is true. Like, it is really all shade of wrong. Do you know what those people go through? Mira is busy hyping them every day because I'm like, yo, how would people be doing this for people they do not know from Adam? In this economy, fans bust you such amounts of full stuff, but you turned it down because it's not iPhone and accommodation in luxury place. <laughs> Do you know, to me, it's actually kind of hard for me to believe this. Do you know why? Because how would you be so demanding of something that is not your money? Like how? Hmm. Oh, well. I hope this is not true. She wants them to open a GoFundMe for her. They would still give Tasha. They never listen. The problem, she likes competing, especially with Liema. It is a different ball game now. She should appreciate and move on. It is not what Liema got then. I don't want it. Though, should have, they should have given her a voucher. Are you trying to say that they did wrong by buying that for her? No, that is not cool. Some of these BBM housemates are entitled. Like, are you mad? Fans don't owe you shit. You all are crazy, I swear. Mpumi rejecting gifts because it's onions. Met. <laughs> Why would Mpumi turn down gifts? If it is true, then it is crazy. Even if you don't like the gifts, the least you can do is accept it with gratitude and later give it away to someone who might need it. Exactly. That is what you think some of those gifts this house may receive, they, they use it. Some of those gifts, they do not use them. They give to people who will really need it and they will just take the ones they can take. You know, that is really being ungrateful, guys, if it is true. I honestly don't want to believe in Pumi rejected stuff from her fans because of preferences. You can't be feeling entitled over gifts and all the SA housemates need to take a clue and learn to be content with whatever is given to them by fans. Hmm. And then Lover of Queen Bee had something different to say. Some of you are very very dishonest they should have given her money than food even if it was arrow 1000 and then this person said maybe there was some kasha and yana but it is a gift it is a welcome home gift all she had to do was accept then give it out guys i have a question do you accept what the person said about they would have given her cash instead of gifting her with what they didn't fit and then this person said hater hey, stop lying and spreading wrong information we had a small argument but it wasn't all you guys said Mpuminators, tomorrow the plan is still going accordingly test me for venue and all let's go celebrate our girl i feel so sorry for mpumi it's jokes to some of you on twitter but it is well hmm so you saying there is small disagreement meaning that there is kind of an atom of truth to whatever is going on right there any which ways, I would say it is what it is. I really just hope some of this housemates do not let this fame life just get into their head because, hmm, hmm, it's not going to be funny at all. He that is down need fear no fall. Do you understand what that means? He that is down need fear no fall. That's all I can say. Any which ways, guys, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here now to see you guys later. Thank you so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies. And do not forget to tell me what you think about all this brohaha going on. Starting from the ex-housemates dropping donation to this Mpumi-ish. Let's operate in the comment section. Bye for now, babies.